Hello everybody, and welcome to the first video of 2021. This is a Devil Dog Gaming video game news update. Before I get started, I have to say happy, happy, happy 20 and 21. Because after all, after midnight struck and we finally left behind 2020 and became 2021, everything got better. All the viruses just went away. Everybody got better. All the violence has stopped. Everybody's bank accounts has been stimulated and the world is much better. <laughs> But seriously, on to the video game news. First of all, of all places, apparently with the bot programs, which they were dubbing them Grinch bots, that were going around and buying up millions upon millions on PlayStation 5s and Xbox Series Xs so they could flip them on eBay to stupid people that are paying several thousand dollars for each system. These bot companies, as they are known by certain names I'm not going to even give credit for, apparently finally got one upped by Walmart. That's right, apparently Walmart initiated a bot program device that actually stopped the bot programs from buying up over 3,000 PlayStation 5s and over 1,000 Xbox Series Xs in 30 minutes. They were able to stop these bots from buying up all of their merchandise. That way you, the consumer, might have a snowball's chance in hell in getting that system even though now it is the next year. Hey, Sony, Xbox, where's all the game systems at? <laughs> but nonetheless, good for you, good for you of all people for having capacha or whatever it's called. Anything that you can get put into your programming system or when you're buying stuff online that might think, hey, if you're buying over 500 of them in less than half a second, maybe, just maybe, you're not a real person and maybe we might stop that per that purchase. Just saying. <laughs> Seriously, how come no one else can do this? Apparently, they can't afford it, or they just don't know how, or they're just greedy and stupid because they just don't care, because even though they know that they're bot programs that are buying them up, the money's actually real and good, so they're making bank, and they just don't care. Why is Walmart the only one to do it? No one knows. It's really kind of weird. But if Walmart can do it, people, I hate to tell you this, everybody else can't do it would be nice, just nice, just maybe, with all the vaccinations going around to get rid of COVID-19, that we might be able to go back to somewhat normal and be able to go into a brick and mortar store or actually go and just get it that way instead of having to buy stupid things online because that's the main right, reason right there why these bot programs keep buying up everything is because everything's online and you're not allowed to go in the store. Oh, God forbid. Oh, you can't go in the store and buy yourself. I can't make sense. Of no, no, you can't. But you sure as hell can wait in a damn line to go to the Taco Bell or to go inside another place and that's perfectly fine as long as you have a mask so why can't you just do social distance and allow people to go to a store and buy one but nonetheless that's another rant on its own <laughs> now the next main story of the PlayStation update news for Devil Dog Gaming is in fact that we all know, thanks to me and several other people, what games you'll be receiving for your PlayStation Plus free games membership of January of this year. You were supposed to get Tomb Raider, uh, Greedfall, and you PS5 members were supposed to receive Man Eater. Well, here's the nice little thing that's very kind of odd, and it does show a new uh, benchmark in the terms of the future with the PlayStation Plus membership. The fact of the matter is, is people who are actually wanting to get Man Eater will be receiving a refund. You have the option of getting a re receiving a refund. Well, why, right? Why? Well, apparently Sony decided to make it nice, and they said if anybody who had purchased Man Eater within the last month or so, uh, since they decided to make it a PlayStation Plus game of the month, they will refund you the difference of the game that you paid and automatically put it back onto your account as a credit. Isn't that nice of them? Isn't that nice of them? Actually, that is really nice of them. wonder why they do that. Wonder why they do that. Sony's never done that before. You know how much bullcrap people go through to try to get a refund through Sony? They're one of the worst companies to try to get a refund for. In fact, that's what blew my mind a while back when the, the, the cyberpunk fiasco happened and they actually went and cited a lot of people to get their damn refund back for that game. That's what really, really shocks me that they're willing to do this. But they are. They're being cool. So if you purchased Man Eater within the last month or so for either your PlayStation 4, they are comping you the money 
money back. You're getting it as a refund for your credit on your account, and you still get to keep the game, and you just get the free PS5 upgrade if you have to actually get the PS5. That is actually really interesting, and I'm really shocked that Sony's doing that. You know what? Kudos for Sony for actually doing something right at the very first part of the year. <laughs> God knows lots of other people still aren't. <laughs> And the last bit of news, which is kind of troubling. This is troubling news, but I just had to say it and I had to do it. I'm going to. Apparently, there's more problems with Cyberpunk 2077. Or as I call it, Cyberjunk 2077 or Cyberpunk 76. That's what I'm calling it. Um, apparently, um, a lot of the bug fixes have actually worked in making the game more stable, even though you can still have your corruption save files actually destroyed on your system, which makes it to where you cannot save a game no more and have to start over all the way from the very beginning, and that's when you collect too many items. So don't go around collecting those dildos, and you should be aight. But the thing is, apparently, they have added in new features that apparently are causing a lot more people to have seizures. That's right, because one of the game journalists here recently was playing Cyberpunk 2077 and suffered a massive seizure. Now, this is not the first time that people have said this about this game, with a certain color combination uh, that they do like when you're getting upgrades to your, your cyber central system of your brain and all that. You'll have these nice little things that go over top of it, these like little... But the problem is, the certain colors that flash in between that and also going to one of the in-game nightclubs has been giving people seizures and they've been trying to cover this up just like everything else uh, but in the end fortunately the guy is safe and sound it was not a major uh, seizure that caused permanent damage to him but in the end that's just another problem on top of all the other problems of cyberpunk 2077 along with the game being a broken hot buggy piece of garbage unless you run it on a high-end pc or one of the next-gen systems uh, that it, it will corrupt your save file and all this other crap but it also gives you seizures um, but apparently um, i hope you all like cd project red because they're not going to be around much longer no <laughs> no they're not. There's so many class action lawsuits going against them for fraudulently releasing and lying to investors on this game. Now keep in mind these lawsuits that are with all the people that are suing them, that ain't gonna go nowhere. But the fact that lawsuits of all the people who are the investors that pay millions and billions of dollars for CD Projekt Red to develop this game in the first place, they're the ones that are suing them and they are the ones who are gonna win in court. And when they win in court, they are gonna rake CD Projekt Red across the coals and CD Projekt Red will go on I hate to say it, but 2021 is the year that maybe BioWare might pull their head out of their ass and make a comeback, and the year that I'm sad to say I think CD Projekt Red is going to go under. Yeah, and you know what? I really wish it wouldn't happen. I like all the people that are there, the developers, the buster button to make these great games, but in the end, you cannot do what they did. They cannot do what they did, and the problem is, as long as it's the corporate cocksuckers at the top that actually get the axe because of this, is I would be so happy because they're the ones that caused this problem from the very beginning when they knew the game wasn't ready, and they just were too greedy to wait until this year to release the actual patched, finished version, which I might add, still didn't seem like it was going to even be playable. <laughs> uh, but that's it. That is your news for your first day of 2021, people. You having a good day? Is it a bright new year? Were you able to sleep last night? Were you able to sleep last night because your neighbors were like, uh, you, know, uh, you know, setting off fireworks and stuff? Fortunately, no. My neighborhood was quite quiet. Everyone was really cool. Honestly, it was pretty good for me. Uh, though I did hear gunshots in the background. But you know what? You hear that everywhere. Could have been a, a backfire from a car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, especially since everybody's supposed to be uh, at home at 10 p.m. So no one could go out and even celebrate a ball drop. Everyone had to stay home and watch their own balls drop. <laughs> Yeah, but that is, those are my three main news stories for 2021. Don't worry, I've got a bunch of new game reviews in the works and a bunch of other content coming down the pipeline as usual. And remember, I always end my videos by saying, have fun, play hard, and remember people, the devil's in the details. Happy New Year. Peace out until later.